Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is my very first ever intro for a project pan. I am so excited. I'm literally smiling and I don't know why. I'm like really giddy and um, just something completely different, something brand new for my channel and I'm really, really, really excited. I want this to work so badly. Um, so if you don't know, panning is really just sort of trying to use up your makeup or your different products um, and it's just a massive, massive thing. I, I just, I didn't really know anything about this really and I've just seen more and more things over the past year and it's really grabbed my attention and it's something I'm so interested in doing. As you know, I've been trying really, really hard to start using more of the things in my own collection. So there is a Facebook group on Facebook and it's called the Pantastic Ladies. And what you need to do, if you're interested in panning, I would just say head over there. There are so many different projects that you can like take part in. And with it being the 1st of January, now is the perfect time. Everything is just starting up and I'm really, really excited. The hardest bit was trying to dis um, decide which projects I wanted to take part in. And Honestly, I just wanted to do all of them. They are so, so good. But I thought I need to just try and narrow it down. So I'm going to sign up for two projects. So this will be my first intro. And I'm going to do another intro where I'll probably be a bit less giddy. <laughs> um, and I'm just really, really wanting to sort of see what I've got in my um, collection. I do my shop moustache already. But I'm just wanting to sort of find another way of picking up pro um, products that I wouldn't maybe normally choose. So the first project I have signed up for, and I'm really excited about this, and it is the Monochromatic Year Project Pan. So this is going to run from the 1st of January, which is today, up until the 31st of December, 2021. Every month there is a different theme. So you have that the duration of that month to use the products you've selected, and then you just select a whole lot um, a whole lot of um, different products for the next month and the next month and the next month and these are colour themes so it's really really exciting so let me just tell you a little bit first of all the creator of this project is called Kali Fabizewski and the hashtag that you need if you want to try and follow us you can check out Instagram as well because loads of people post on Instagram or you can search on YouTube as well with this hashtag and it is the hashtag monochromatic project pan 2021 so each month you choose between five and ten products. It can be full sizes, samples, just sachets, and then you decide what your goal is for each of those products. So you might want to finish it, you might want to pan it, you might just want to try it out, or you might want to use it a set amount of times during the month. Um, and I just think that'll give you a really sort of it's a really good way of trying things that you might not normally try, and it makes you just sort of just the selection process is a little bit more interesting, I think. So for January, the colours this month is like purple slash plum so those lovely plummy purpley shades so that can be the actual colour of the product can be purple the packaging can be purple there could be something relating to purple in the name and then um, as anything goes it's up to you it doesn't have to be makeup it could be any of your other products as well so it could even be food some people are doing food it could be something to do with a book just anything so that is what we're going to do and lots of people kind of typically have their products already for you now to show you but because I do love a kind of shop my stash style video I thought it'd be quite fun to turn the camera around and then we'll go through my drawers and select between five and ten products to choose for this month's project and then the plan is so we'll get that we'll have a chat about them as we're selecting them and then I'm going to come back on the last day of the month and let you know um, how I got on with it, if I finished it, if I've reached all my goals. And then on the 1st of the next month, I will be back with my next intro for that month. And I think that's the easiest way for me to do it. And then I'll just sort of complete one month before I restart the next. Um, do let me know how you think this format is. Leave any sort of comments down below because I'm always that excited. Now, before we go and select the products, if you haven't um, subscribed yet, please, please do. If you love Project Panning, and you've done it before, any tips, I am really, really open, just help me pan, I need to know what I need to do, and um, yeah, I'm so excited, so let's turn the camera around and choose my products. I meant to say, did you spot my clue? I had my little Miss Naughty mug, but I got her because she's purple, so that was my little clue to you for the colour. Um, I also meant to say it as well, um, oh, I'll tell you at the end, let's just go pick the products. 
I literally have no clue what I'm going to choose. So I'm going to just have a rummage through all the drawers and see if there's anything plummy or purpley that will do. Um, I don't think I've got anything in here and in this bit. Oh, no, that's blue. I'm just trying to look to see if there's anything that jumps out. Oh, there's a lip balm here. Um, so we could have this. So this is a um, Betty Hula lip balm. It is with shea butter. I haven't actually tried that yet. And to be honest, lip balms are probably quite a good product. I've literally only swatched it. So we can use that. It has got a matching um, like kind of polish as well. But I think I'll just stick with the lip balm for now. So that's one. That's purely because of the packaging. All right, we'll go down to the next drawer. All right, and then so palettes, palettes. I'm wondering, I think I've got a mini palette that I might want to focus on more. This is purple. So I'm just wondering whether I need to look at this. I haven't used this yet either. I've only swatched it and I got this in my Discovered Beauty. It is actually really pretty, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, actually, I'm going to get this out and... Um, I think for this, actually, should we just select all the products first and then we'll set our goals at the end once we have them. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go for that. That looks really nice. Be a good excuse to try it. So I think one palette is quite enough. All right, then next, let's see if there's anything in here that will be suitable. So this, this is in a, um, it's a blusher in a purple packaging. So I suppose I could count this. Um, I know once you're in, it's not purple, but I suppose I can go with the packaging, I think, if that's what the rules are, then um, let's do that. So that's three things. Again, as well, this packaging is um, plummy. So I'm going to use this highlighter as well, which is a little Ciate highlighter. Oh, I've almost got a full face going on. All right, then next draw is, let me see. I'm wondering whether to get any more eyeshadow out. Um, what's this? I've got this palette here, which is a Laura Geller one, but actually this is a really old palette um, and i'm sure it's all shimmers yes so let's get this one out because this has got a huge dent on it it is ancient but let's get that out um i've got this eyeliner here by sleek um, and it is in the shade Aubergine. So I think this one here is, yeah, it's like a plummy shade, isn't it? So this is nothing I've, um, I haven't really worn this before. So that'll be a good way of just trying that one out, I think. Um, is there anything else? No. Don't think I have any plum mascaras. Okay, so lips, let's see. There must be something in here I can use. I have lots of plum colours and purpley shades. Um, oh, I just remembered about this one. I got this ages ago. It is a Winky Lux, what is it? A, like a glitter gloss. I think it had like a colour changing thing in it. So maybe it might be quite nice just to try and use. Um, yeah, and I think it's kind of stained the lips. So that's a little bit of fun. I'll see if I can get a plummy lipstick. Ah. See, these have got um, purple packaging. Oh, I might use that. That looks quite nice. And that is, where are we? In vintage pink. Um, it's a Rimmel, so we'll use that. And what's this one? Ooh, that's dark, isn't it? Oh, that's a bit scary, even for me. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to 
get that out as well and i'll have a number girl on that one i think i'll swatch this other one for you as well this looks a little bit more wearable yeah that's quite nice actually right i think now what i'll do i'll just have a little look through and see oh i'll have that is that plum like a plummy color um a nail polish so i can use that for sure um, I'll see if I've got any like hair care and skincare products as well. I better have a bit of a count up and then we'll narrow it down. I think I think I'm getting a bit carried away. <laughs> right, guys, I've got a few things um up here packed away. So let's just see what we have. I've got this clay mask, which we can try. That's purple. Um we'll get this as well, which is a body wash. And I think I maybe just get like a, a sheet mask or a hair product or something as well. Um, is there anything in here I can just pull out? Let's see. Oh, so much stuff. Ooh. There, we've got a sheet mask, which is a real lavender mask pack. That looks nice. And then... Bum, bum, bum. So much stuff. I need to get so organised. Um, hem, hem, hem. Oh, what's this? Okay, we've got a Wave and Shine spray by Oribe. So, oh, I've got one thing down here I did see earlier. Oh, I saw it earlier. I'll get it out and I'll move you around. Right, so here's everything. I've chosen far too much, which shows that I am a complete and utter amateur <laughs> so let's have a look and see what i really really want to use and what potential goals i might have um okay well i think first of all i probably don't need two lipsticks so i'm going to keep the um the paler this one of the two i'm going to get rid of that i want the mask and I definitely want to try the clay mask as well. So that's three. Keep that. That's four. Um, I got this, which was an eye makeup remover. So we'll have that as well, which is five. I'm going to put in the nail polish as well, because I hardly ever use them. That's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's take out this big palette, I think. And I'm going to bring in this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on that one pan there. We'll have a chat about that in a minute. So that's seven. I'm going to put in the body wash as well. And let's pop this in. That's one, two, three, four. Five. I've lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Okay, I'm going to take these other items out and this is what we have. So I am promising you I will get better <laughs> as we go on. So let's set our goals for these products. I'm going to have a slurp of tea. I've got a little um, tub here actually which I'll keep and then I can keep these things separate so I know they're for my project pan. So Goals. So this one here, so as I said, it's a number seven palette. It's a really old one, Sultry Eyes palette. I've had it forever. I'm going to see if I can actually pan this shade. That is going to be my goal. I don't know if I'll manage it or not, but it has got a big dip in it. So I'm not worried about the other shades, but I'm going to just concentrate on that one shade. So that's a pan goal. This doesn't feel like there's much in here. So it is a Wave and Shine spray by Arib. Um, Let's have a look. You can put it on wet or dry hair. So that's going to be really easy for me to um, to use up, I think. It's nearly done. And um, yes, I'm going to aim to finish that. I also want to finish this eye makeup remover. It's not very much. It's by Anna Sui. And how much is in it? 20 mils so it's is it 20 20 mils so it's only little so i should be able to get that finished up um obviously the mask is a single use one so it's just to use that that'll be finished if i can remember to use that one um now i'm not sure how many uses i'll get out of this 
but I'm going to aim to finish it. I imagine it'll be a one or two use um, size. It's only 15 mils in there. I've had this for ages and I do have a full size. So I've chosen the smaller one to try because then if I like it, I've got the bigger one there for another time. If I don't like it, I can um, put the big one into a giveaway. So yeah, I want to finish this. This one is going to be just probably using on my toenails. I don't really wear nail polish on my fingers because of my job. I'm just trying to work out, is that a plum? It does look plum. So I don't know, let's aim to use it. If I say four times, because I can sort of, um, re I, I suppose I'll just have to, I'll have to have out my nail toenails for the whole month, but that's fine. So however often it needs topping up, but I aim to use that for this month. So I get about four uses out of it, maybe more. Um, the Betty Hula, I'm just going to aim to use this as my regular um, lip balm. So I'm going to aim to have it maybe 10 uses. I'll, I'll achieve that because I'll pop it on every day when I'm doing my makeup. But yes, yeah, so I just want to get a bit of a dent in there. This, I wonder if I can finish this. I don't know. Can I? It doesn't look very big. Um, I'll say five uses and then we'll see where we're at. It's about halfway down. I will, um, I'll stand it up, I'll let it settle and then I'll pop a Sharpie line on the side so we can sort of measure how much of that I've managed to use. And then the lipstick, it looks a really nice colour. Um, I'm going to aim to use that 10 times this month. Um, it's got quite a lot of product in it. I will um, take a photo and then we can sort of have like a before and after photo to see how I've done. And then this is a body wash. I don't know what it's like. I've not tried it yet. Um but I will just, it's 250 mils. So chances are I'll have that finished by the end of the month with a bit of luck. So um, yeah, but I'll just keep using this till it's finished and then that's it out of my collection. So way, those are my products for this month. I'm going to turn around and have a chat to you because I think I've gone a bit crazy. Right, so those are all my products, but I've just remembered there's something else I wanted to add in as well. And it's a perfume and the reason I'm putting this in is I think I've had this over 10 years so I know it is probably disgusting and I'll only need one spray of it and in fact shall I just use it now and I can get it out of my collection <laughs> look at this who remembers this it's the Colleen um, it was like Colleen Rooney um, perfume it must stink I think it's about 12 years since I had it it doesn't smell bad actually <laughs> I'll see. I might be able to use it as a room like fragrance. Um, so I'm going to put that in as well. There's literally, it sounds like there's probably about that much in it. There's not very much. So I'm going to try and get that finished. It tastes disgusting. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's my introduction, which is huge. Um, I think it's a bit crazy and it will be better next month so at the end of the month i will be back and i will let you know if i've reached my goals i might even do my makeup i think with the makeup products i've got in here so you can see what they look like and i will probably do a couple of little reviews on the masks and things as well along the way so do pop back at the end of the month thank you for bearing with me i just feel really rambly because i'm just not used to doing this sort of video and I'm not sure if the shop my stash was a good idea or not, or if I'm better off just picking the products beforehand. Let me know what you would prefer if you'd rather me just go through what I'm going to be using and chat a bit more about the products, or if you would like the shop my stash style format. Okay, guys, so take care. I'll see you all again very, very soon. Um, I'll be back with my next project pan intro, which will be much simpler because it's just one product. Okay, guys, take care. See you very, very soon. Happy New Year again. And mwah, bye, guys. Bye.